When I retired and moved to the Central Coast after teaching high school biology for 44 years, I was delighted to find an opportunity to share my love of nature with the public as a docent for the Central Coast State Parks. I'm here today to talk to you about Danaeus um, plexippus, the monarch butterfly. The Rocky Mountains split the monarch population into two groups, the uh, eastern monarchs and the western monarchs. Millions of eastern monarchs overwinter in the mountains of central Mexico and on the Gulf Coast, whereas many thousands of monarchs um, come to coastal California to spend the winter. Trained citizen scientists count monarchs at Thanksgiving and at New Year's at over 400 of these sites. My husband Steve and I have counted monarchs in Slow County for the past seven years. The data we help collect has been showing some alarming trends in what, with the population of the Western monarchs. 20 years ago, there were 10 million monarchs in California and 200,000 monarchs at the Pismo Grove. Three years ago, Pismo had 24,000 monarchs. At this time last year, we had 12,000 monarchs and only 200,000 monarchs in all of coastal California. And sadly, this year, our count is close to 2,000 butterflies. Early reports from other sites uh, are no more promising. Many factors may be involved in this dramatic drop in the population. This includes the use of pesticides, herbicides that kill the host plant milkweed, extreme heat, more severe storms, drought, fires, and uh, the, and changes in overwintering sites. We really don't know what factors are most important, but scientists think the western monarch population may become extinct if measures aren't taken to try to help the population recover. Well, you might wonder how monarchs actually find their coastal overwintering sites. They actually have two different um, ways. They have a time-compensated sun compass, and on cloudy days, a backup geomagnetic uh, center to help them navigate their way to uh, the coast. In the springtime, the western monarchs actually fan out and go to um, all of the western states to, um, to nectar and to find milkweed. And they return to coastal California uh, to overwinter in the fall. The spring and summer monarchs Generations have a short lifespan, only six to eight weeks. Shorter days and cooler nights um, in the fall change, uh, signal a change in the monarchs that uh, allows the overwintering generation to live for five to seven months. The monarchs that overwinter in Pismo were never here before. There are four or five generations removed from the butterflies that were here last year. That always surprises visitors. Some mistakenly think they, they must be like salmon returning to their spawning grounds. That's absolutely not true. Um, most know that milkweed is the host plant for monarch caterpillar. But how does the monarch actually find the milkweed in your garden? Well, they have sensors in their antenna that, that locate your milkweed, and then they land on the milkweed and tap uh, on the milkweed with their front legs and verify it's the kind of milkweed they're looking for. Um, every monarch can mate up to five times, and if you want to come and see the, the most uh, Enthusiastic uh, mating time is actually around Valentine's Day at the Pismo <laughs> Grove. Um, every monarch can lay up to about four, 400 eggs. If every egg that's laid on milkweed became a butterfly in five generations, those 400 could potentially produce more than a billion new butterflies every year. Well, we know that, uh, that that doesn't happen. 
At best, only about 1% of those eggs become butterflies, and our population uh, continues to decrease. So in spite of dwindling number of, of butterflies during the overwintering season, more than 100,000 visitors come to Pismo from all across the United States and from many, many foreign countries to see our migrating monarchs. These monarch cluster-seeking tourists are very important to our local economy. Monarchs are loved for their beauty and appreciated for their role in nature as pollinators. Our grove is open from 10 to 4 um, every day from beginning of November until the end of February. And we give um, docent-led talks at 11 and 2 every day and to learn more um, about us and to see our beautiful new um, butterfly sales trailer. Uh, we would love to see you at the Pismo Monarch Grove.